<laughs> you think I'll let you zone. Where to start? Where to start with this review of Bomb Rush Cyberfunk? I guess let's start from the beginning with Team Reptile, which is a Dutch independent video game developer. The team was founded on September 1st, 2011. Team Reptile is most known for releasing a fighting game called Lethal League and its sequel Lethal League Blaze. It also released a Build Your Fighter beat-em-up called Megabyte Punch in 2013 and currently released a sort of spiritual successor to Jet Grind Radio but doing their own thing with it as you can have different modes of transportation if you like skating over blades and a BMX bike. I'll get into more on that later but first let's talk about the story We're in the funky futuristic world of New Amsterdam, where the name of the game for crews that have beef and want to control burrows have to battle it out in turf wars, let their tricks and graffiti skills do the talking instead of violence. It starts at the police station where you are holed up in and someone starts to cause problems, namely Trice who is looking for talent for his crew and needs Fox but doesn't trust you or who you claim to be but the pair escape only for Fox to be beheaded during the scuffle. Fox wakes up at the Bomb Rush crew's headquarters with a brand new cyber head, but he can't remember a thing. To get Fox's head back, or in this case Red's head back, thanks to crewmate Bell giving him a new name, aim to be all city by taking over all five boroughs in New Amsterdam. Trias explains that Fox was part of the big three, but was going to help Bomb Rush crew go all city. But to do that now and get Fox's head back, they need to take down DJ Cyber and his crew Futurism. The first crew Bomb Rush targets are the Franks, who have beef with DJ Cyber and go to see the leader Flesh Prince, who was the one who gave Red his new head. Prince won't give any info so they challenge them to a battle and after losing Prince still won't cooperate so DJ Cyber shows up and says the code of the streets and the judgment of the old heads are final. For not following the code, the Franks forfeit and the borough belongs to Bomb Rush. Trice asks for Fox's head but Cyber runs things here and tells Red to get into the machine if he wants his memories back so badly. Red wakes up in his mindscape filled with memories and has to navigate them to make sense of things. After waking up, Cyber tells Red if he wants his head and his memories back, aim for all city and challenge him again. Trice explains that the big three were legendary artists named Fox, Felix, and Cyber. Felix went solo and became all city but died in the process and Cyber took over after that happened but they are determined to become all city. During the adventures with Bomb Rush not everything is as it seems. As they take down crews Red starts to gain more memories and he sees a person with a wing tattoo with Fox. While challenging the .exe crew Red runs into Cyber's number 2 Vinyl. Vinyl doesn't like what Cyber is doing in the streets and has info on everything Red is looking for but first Bomb Rush has to take over .exe's turf. After the chaos with .exe Red sees more memories but this time it's clearer. It's a mystery tagger, fox, and a fallen ladder. We see elsewhere, Cyber doesn't actually have Fox's head. The cops do for a special project to track down all the crews in the city and end them. When the crew heads home, Vinyl joins and says the dreams that Red is having are memories, but the only way to unlock them all is to conquer the remaining boroughs and be all city. The main point is these aren't Fox's memories, and as the mystery is about to be revealed, Red is shot point blank in the face. The crew finds out that Red isn't a cyber head as there is another head encased in it. They need a doctor so they search for Prince. Prince admits Red isn't a cyber head and is actually fine, just fixes the mask for him instead. The crew finds out that Prince was ordered to keep a human head alive but it is very difficult without a body so he put the head on Fox's body. Later after taking over another burrow, Cyber gets a little pissed that Vinyl went AWOL but Red challenges him to a 1v1. And after the ass kicking we find out that Red is actually Felix. The whole situation was for Felix to get his memories back but the actual problem is Fox because the police wanted to use him to get rid of writers but Fox will get rid of all writers so he can become all city. The reason Cyber and Vinyl bet everything on Felix is he is the only one who knows Fox's weakness. Elsewhere Fox is taking over the station and the police. Fox is using this place to end any graffiti artist in New Amsterdam so he will be all city king even though he is stuck as a head. After beating Futurism, Felix goes back into his memories and finds out that while tagging a new spot and going on his own to becoming all city, Fox betrays Felix and knocks him into an industrial fan separating his head from the body. 
Cyber gives Prince the head and cuts Fox's head off for the consequences of his actions to Felix at the beginning of the game. Felix decides to stop him, but Fox shows up in a mech suit to settle the beef they have. After getting dropped the first time, Fox comes back in a new mecha and grabs Felix and rips his head off and tosses the body, but the crew gets help from the police when they give Felix his OG body back. It's go time. After the battle, Felix calls Fox out because he learned Fox's dad was a dirty cop and would bail Fox out whenever he got caught. Fox went as far as to end him to keep the secret because no one would take Fox seriously as a graffiti artist if they knew. Felix headbutts Fox so hard the mask shatters and we see that Fox dies from the fall. At the Bomb Rush crew's hideout, they celebrate beating Fox and becoming all city in New Amsterdam. Let's get into gameplay. If you love Tony Hawk's Pro Skater or any of the extreme sport games of the early 2000s, you'll love this. It's a bit different from Jet Grind Radio because it isn't as stiff to control, like grinding in this game is easy and very forgiving. As long as you land near a bar, you'll start grinding and you don't need to balance yourself while doing so in other games to keep the combo going. The game has a manual that you can use to extend your combos with when you run out of rails that give you some time to think or find a vert to continue. These are times so you can't indefinitely keep the combo going just by manually. You also have boosting. There are two types, a yellow boost that you can use at the top of a jump to get more distance or airtime. Then there is the blue boost you can use with your combo meter to perform crazy tricks or get a boost of speed. You can refill the meter by doing regular tricks. The only problem is you are limited in the tricks you can do as they give you a preloaded trick buttons loadout that you do the same tricks when pushed and a special version when using the blue boost. This goes for each transport, doesn't matter if you choose bike or skates, you'll do a variation of the same moves per character which they each can get signature moves that way. Throughout the story you can recruit extra characters in the boroughs to play as by doing varying side missions the character wants you to do so you aren't just picking the same 5 characters. You can also collect alternate colors for characters to wear and to use to escape the cops when the heat gets too high so you visit a port john to switch clothes. If you wanted more music choices then you're in luck because you can collect over 30 tracks and mixes during your adventure to listen to while you skate which is really cool because you can change the track at any time with your cell phone. You also have alternate colors for your board, bike, and skates. They don't offer any stat buffs but if you don't like a certain default color at least you can change it. Honestly this is primarily a free skate mode where characters will remind you from time to time on what you should be doing and to check your phone on where to go next, but you can just take your time to just skate or explore before continuing with the story. There is a rep system that unlocks new areas blocked off by the old heads. They won't let you pass until you hit the requirement, which means you have to tag enough of the area. There are two types of graffiti. The quick small ones that with a shoulder button press are instant. Then there are the murals, where as you collect renders, you can learn patterns that will allow you to paint a certain tag you love, which I find cool as it gives you options. I do love the amount of options Bomb Rush Cyberfunk gives you, but it still could use some quality of life fixes in an update or a sequel. Like for instance, there is a quick travel with a taxi driver you save, but I never used him once because I never saw a taxi sign and just skated my way back to an area. And the switching of rides could be added to areas as it got kind of annoying that you had to go back to the hideout if you wanted to change to any of the three rides, be it board, skates, or bike. And you can also free run to an extent, which is very cool that they added a slide so you can combo into a ride to keep the tricks flowing. Overall, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk is a great game to play and have fun with. As of this review, it is $39.99 on all platforms. Funny thing is that Nintendo in 2021 announced that Bomb Rush Cyberfunk was a console timed exclusive but was delayed until 2023 and released on Switch and PC August 18th with Xbox and PlayStation consoles getting it September 1st. Be careful the Switch version as it has an optimization mode of 30 FPS but they have an Unleash the Beast mode that uncaps the hit up to 60 but stays in the 40s. Outside of some clunky combat and the tricks can be a bit button mashy, you can just ride and listen to some funky tracks while you just vibe. Get it if you love these types of games but if you're on the fence wait until a digital sale to make it more enticing for you. Either way I just can't get enough. Come on, I need to fuck with my pussy, man, I don't know. Come on, I need to fuck with my pussy, man, I don't know.
come up with a name. A stone party, but I will not rock. Very old scratchy, but I want to come up with a name. Come up with a name.